Hi everybody, I'm Al Rochelle and welcome to the PCS Journal where we talk with folks within Pinellas County Schools, what it is they do and how their programs and things they're working on affect you and your children. Joining me right now is Dr. Co uh, Dr. Connie Colosi, the Director of Media, Text and Digital Learning. Dr. Colosi, good to see you again. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, you have your computer here right now, so I assume that we're not going to be looking at YouTube videos. We're going to be looking at this wonderful program called Personalized Learning Pathway. What's all that about? Well, it is a way for students to access uh, live data about themselves and connect it with uh, learning opportunities so that they can uh, work on specific areas that they need for growth. And they can do this anytime, any place, on any device. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's, it, and it's also a great platform for mentors. If, uh, if a mentor is working with a child and, uh, you know, it might say that sometimes when you talk with a, t with a teenager, a young person, they say, well, you know, what's happening at school? Oh, nothing. Yeah, oh, boy, nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Boring, right? No, yeah. no homework. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And so uh, the, the personalized learning pathway gives uh, mentors, parents, grandparents a tool. They can say, little Johnny, come over here and sit down. Let's log in and take a look and um, really gives them something to talk about with the child and gives them a way to direct the child in uh, meaningful work that's going to help them uh, mm -hmm. academically. Now, is Clever, is that the name of a program within this Pathways? Okay, so Clever, yes. And so let me... Uh, uh, and we're going to show this up on the screen. Yeah, uh, we're going to show see this some of it behind screen. us right here yeah. and some of it will be... Right. Appearing full okay. screen for you. Okay. So, so clever. First thing, I I want all parents to know about clever. Uh, K K twelve, um, and what we've done uh, is put the URL, the access to every instructional uh, platform that we operate here in the district behind the clever, and so that helps protect data because we're all concerned about yeah, okay. sharing of student data. Yeah. So um, within clever, then. Uh, students and teachers don't have to worry about oh what was that URL what was my password did oh, I change yeah, my yeah, password yeah. you know you have a whole list of passwords no the, the student has one district ID one district password that, that they are free to change if they wish mm -hmm. and then when they log into clever they see all of the resources that are available to them and so um, as we're seeing here on the screen this is a high school student screen and this is um, customized to the level of the student and even to the individual student based on the classes that they're enrolled in wow. so it communicates with our student information system right, uh -huh. and so if a student is enrolled in a chemistry class they're going to have access to their chemistry textbook right here or if it's physical science that's the thing that will come up okay and so this was for for it's a real student we're not going to show the person's name but just to show you an idea do you know i i get i'm sweating right now looking at algebra nation you do realize well, that well i'm going to say the same thing about me <laughs> and 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 so you know but but the point is that if it was up to you or i to tutor a child in algebra yeah we would have a problem no but we don't have to worry about that okay. because we can log on to clever.com we can direct this child to algebra nation they can get a meaningful instruction in fact, with Algebra Nation, they can pick which teacher they would like to have teach them um, from an array. It's really? A, uh, this is amazing free resource that comes to us through the state of Florida. Now, uh, so who put this together? Um, Algebra Nation or, or Clever? Clever. Okay, well, um, honestly, when I came into this position, uh, having come from school-based, I said, you know, we really need a single, single sign-on solution because as a principal, um, I was always trying to remember my URL and password. Oh, boy, no <laughs> and, kidding. you know, you sit down and you want to do something and then you yeah. can't get in and they say, oh, never mind, and you go do something else. In that. And, and so I realized the power of this and a lot of districts are going to this. And so I partnered with um, Digital Learning, uh, our TIS department, um, everyone to make this happen. Mm -hmm. Now, what part of this program was designed by a student? Because they're, they're, ah. that's the part. <laughs> that's the part you want to get to. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the personalized learning pathway, which is one of the options on the Clever piece. And so we've been talking about Clever because it is the path to the personalized learning okay, pathway. Okay, okay, sure. So we, we weren't off task in our conversation. So when I click on this button here, it's going to reroute me to a uh, SharePoint built in Office 365. And this uh, platform was built by the students at the Center for Advanced Technologies at Lakewood High School. Oh my gosh. And we went to them and we said, well, we have this idea, we have this concept, what would look cool? Yeah. What would be interesting to you? What kind of information would draw you to come to this platform to look at it? And sure. so uh, with that input and with their great programming skills, we were able to develop this.
Wow, and so there's algebra modeling, functions and modeling, uh, boy, mathematics, language arts, path to graduation. <clears throat> I like this, the general information, because I don't think, you know, our, our kids always did so well that I never, I never knew, un, knew or understood some of that stuff. So I think one of the things that parents find confusing is, well, how do I know that my kids are taking the right courses at the right time? And what is, it, what is the bottom line and what it means for the future? Right. And, you know, then what have they done and where, where do they stand yeah, in, terms, yeah. in terms of their progression? So, um, so what, let me walk you through this a little bit. So okay. over here on this left column, this is a place for the students themselves to enter information about themselves. So we have hobbies and clubs. So this young person that we're looking at here could, uh, you know, say, well, I was a member of Rojans and I was the secretary and from this date to that date. Um, achievements, volunteering, work experience experience, goals, and support team. So uh, they can kind of use this as a digital notebook to keep track of these things. Well, yeah, because when you're going to college, they always want to say, tell me about your experiences. And I, and yeah. unfortunately, most of us don't keep notes and that kind of stuff. What so year was that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah really, yeah. So and this so is all in one place. It's all in Tremendous. one place. And then, but here's the thing. This is private to the student. So no one is looking at this. No one can see this. This is just a, a, a personal place for the student. But when they're ready, they can print my portfolio. And this comes out in a Word document, okay. which can be turned into a resume can be turned into a college application and they'll have all that all that stuff right there handy wow. so that's that's a nice feature that's there um, I'm gonna jump over to the path to graduation and then and then kind of loop back so we have general information as you mentioned and so we have um, we can see this cumulative GPA she's a great student mm -hmm. um, this this particular girl is a, um, a, a junior she's in the, she's in 11th grade she has earned 16 credits she has met her algebra EOC status, she has met her FSA reading, and she is on track. Now here's what's interesting. She has met, there's different ways that you can meet the algebra and reading requirements mm -hmm. for the state. There's different assessments you can take. The, yeah. first, the first one is algebra EOC, the second one is um, reading FSA. So she has met her requirement, but when we look over here at mathematics, um, she's got red bands. And this means that she, when she took the state's EOC, she did not uh, score particularly well, even though on another test she scored well enough to pass. Okay, okay. So to be ready for high school, or excuse me, ready college. for college, we would want her to go back and do some work in these reading, in these math skills. And so when she clicks on these, it tells you every standard that is assessed. And when she clicks on this, it opens up a lesson for her to uh, engage with. And this takes us right back to Algebra Nation. We didn't have to build these nest, these lessons. Oh. We went right back to the lessons that have already been built by the state. And it's taken a minute, so we'll let that think. And, we, and well, there we go. So it it takes her back to to work that she can do, mm -hmm. uh, specific to this. Uh, standard. Right. And then the same with, with language arts. Now she has met her reading FSA and I think last time I looked that was not green so she's made progress since the last time I've looked. Oh okay great. And um, all of these are green so she did well and so she's a strong reader and she's good. Um, if she wanted to work and let's say, let's say she was a student who had a yellow or a red band she can click and again it takes us out to uh, a lesson that we have, we have built in Safari Montage and um, she can do additional work there for that. So um, those... And you know, kids uh, kids are so in tune to working with this kind of thing. You know, for, for adults and stuff, like it's kind of like freaky. Yeah. yeah. But when you see this, you understand how a computer program works and how it systematically takes you through. You know, and you know another thing that's good about these programs is because if it says it takes you an hour, you're not going to get it done in five minutes. So right. you're going to spend the time yeah. that you need, hopefully, to understand whatever particular concept it's teaching. Well, the way these lessons are written, you can't just click through them. You have, right. to, you have to engage. So I'll point out one other thing. So if I come here and I click on ELA, now this bottom row has changed to ELA. Which means? Oh, sorry. English language arts. OK, English language arts. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. And so she needs four credits. Um, she has earned two credits, which is appropriate because she's now a junior. And, um, you know, so she's, she's got her ninth and 10th grade years there. And now she's working on her credits for her junior and senior year. She is enrolled in the appropriate class. And so she is on track. And so we can go through each of her, um, her courses this way. And it tells us where she stands academically. So yeah, if she yeah. were a student that were falling behind in any way, we would be able to see that here.
And then over here we have information on her SAT and her ACT. Oh, um, wow. Or, uh, which, which is both good and bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can look at it and go, wow, I really did that, or whoops, I need to make some improvement there. But well, it's there for you to there. see. And, and then this will always be the last score that they took. Okay. Um, and then uh, if there were any industry certifications earned, because uh, many of our high school students are working on industry certifications. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, yeah. If she's taken any advanced coursework, it would be here. And then uh, also here we have the NCAA eligibility. So if this were a student that was interested in playing college sports. So if mm -hmm. you were mentoring a, a wannabe football player that right. wants to go to college, we can see if they're on track to be able to do that and then have that conversation to say, these are the steps you need to take to get Okay, this, th this is all tremendous and stuff. What did kids do before this? <laughs> well, they would have to go see their guidance counselor and they'd have to find a time that they could do that. Right. And um, in fact, one of, one of the students that looked at us said, well, I could be my own guidance counselor. <laughs> well, yeah, and, but it is good to know where you were because yeah. I just think that so much of this stuff tends to be guesswork if you don't have it laid out in front of you. And right. technology, the biggest advantage of technology is information, if you know how to use it and if it's there. So how long has this program been up? Well, um, we've been, we started a year ago spring break and then it's been, a, it's, it's been a, a run up and we had a big push to introduce it. We've had, this school year, we've had over 40,000 students log on. Okay, so yeah. it's working then. Yeah, yeah, well, we're getting kids familiar with it. And now right. the word is we also want to get it into the community. We want parents, we want grandparents, we want mentors say, look, if you don't know anything else, go to clever.com, personalized learning pathway, and let's go. But again, you, you can't, uh, you and I can't get into it. We have to have, how, how do we do that then if we're working well, with Well, and kid? so, uh, well, we're going to have to in, talk to the kid. That's oh, a, and, that's and, a clever, okay. <laughs> that's a clever that, idea, right? This, right, yes, come students will have that information. Yeah, yeah I know, clever <laughs> idea. So parents who just can't spend hours and hours trying to, what if I wanted to brush up on my algebra skills? <laughs> Find well, a student to mentor, right? <laughs> yes, I do actually, there is a way to get that done too, but not But no, not okay, we'll just take one, yeah. one step at a time. Yeah. So, um, uh, very ingenious way of using this now the next question is do all students have access to computers to be able to get this information well um, right now as a district district we're about three to one there's about one computer for every three students on during the school day of course media centers and uh, have labs and are open after school libraries public school but, but this will work on um, home computers this will work on tablets this will work on phones you see the, the kids that I worry about are not the kids at the top and believe it or not not the kids at the bottom I'm talking mm -hmm. about those kids in the middle that may not be as motivated to even want to know where they are at. How do you make sure they get engaged? Or is well, this that's where the mentor comes in. You're really not going to take the place yeah. of a caring adult who says, come on, Johnny, let's sit down and take a look at this. Yeah. this? And, and um, we, we found that nationally, about 75% of our students have um, access to uh, internet at home yeah. or at, at some point in their day. And we want to improve on that. But, you know, we're, we're we're building it, and then we're hoping they come to it. Yeah, wonderful program. Dr. Connie Colosa, thank you so much for stopping by. And she's going to be with us on Bay News 9 in the future. Just thought you'd like to know about that. <laughs> you're, that you're wonderful, and, and, and it, you're very clever. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the name of the program. We're back with more of our program, so please stay with us.